Hi guys! In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. It is going to be a general message, guys, so please keep mindful of that. If you're interested in the personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. Okay, um, you have a lot of water energy here, and water is, of course, emotion. So there's quite an emotional energy or an emotional depth to the reading here. Um, there's definitely something happening for you here. Definitely a strong energy of perhaps things happening behind the scenes or things coming together. Um, the question is, are you ready for whatever this is? Are you ready? Because with the sun's energy, I mean, this is joy, this is optimism, this is positivity. This is an energy where I feel like you're going to be extremely happy. I feel like there's some sort of good news coming your way or there's an opportunity a very fruitful opportunity or perhaps there is new love there's definitely something that's happening for you here that i feel like is going to bring you immense joy the sun card of course follows the darkest of nights so this is especially for those of you who have who resonate with the fact that you've gone through maybe a dark night of the soul or you've been going through some very tumultuous and dark and a very dark period in your life so the sun is popping up here. It's It definitely occurs when you are in alignment with yourself. So to the person that I'm speaking to and connecting to, I feel like you're stepping in you're stepping into a very um positive energy. You're stepping and there's so much you're stepping into this energy and much like the sun's ray, you're going to be radiating, you're going to feel a lot of energy. You're going to be feeling a lot of, um, you're going to be feel, feeling very energetic, right? For those of you who have been low on energy, um, all of a sudden you're going to get this surge of energy. You're definitely feeling the sun's rays here. You're definitely feeling more confident. You're also feeling lucky or some of you are about to get lucky here. Um, much like the sun is giving you strength and it's giving you energy and it's giving you vitality, you two are going to be radiating in the same energy. Um, I don't think you're prepared. I honestly don't think that you're prepared for the joy and the happiness that is coming your way. I also want to point out that, yes, yeah, some of this joy and happiness can come in the shape of materialism. Um, there is abundance here that's indicated in the energies. But for a lot of you, because of the bottom row here, this is personal fulfillment. This is a type of happiness that money necessarily can't accommodate. This is a type of happiness where you're so proud of yourself, you're so proud of your personal achievements, um, and you're so inspired and inspiring as well. You're definitely radiating a lot of love, you're definitely radiating a lot of joy. Um, you're also sharing this energy. I think this People are going to start noticing. People are going to start noticing. Um, you know, the, the, there may be something different about you, or there's a shift, or there's just this confidence, right? People are definitely, and this energy, by the way, looks good on you, but they're definitely going to start noticing. For some of you, I think some of you are 
okay most of you are going to be you're, you're attracting especially if this is an energy that you're resonating in you're resonating with or if you're going to be stepping into this energy i definitely feel like you know the sun is shining your way here um before see you're going to be attracting or you are attracting something here it could be more than just your cup floweth over so it could be more than just the one opportunity here for some of you, I think you need to step into the energy, this energy before you start attracting things to you like a magnet. Because it's this very energy and it's this, you know, this, this vitality that I think is going to bring you closer to your goals, bring you closer to your dreams, bring you closer to your manifestations or your attractions. Also use this time to create a closer connection to you and a particular someone whether it's a romantic energy a family member a friend or it's like a passion of yours um you're definite because of this energy again i don't think you're prepared for it and you're definitely drawing you're drawing in towards you in fact you're pulling on someone's energy so anyone that you want to attract in your life anything that you want to attract into your life um whatever it is whether it's an idea or a project or an opportunity a romantic partner a friendship i don't know a new job new career whatever it is that you want to attract right now now is the time for you to step out and let yourself shine because there's just something about the person there's just something about you the person that i am connecting to that i don't know you seem a little different and people are going to start noticing they may have even already told you this but you're feeling more confident in yourself because i'm seeing that you're it's an energy of alignment i think you're more accepting of yourself and who you are and who you want to be and where you come from you're definitely in stepping into an energy of alignment and you'll notice that the right people in the right situations and the right circumstances are definitely going to be showing up for you There's some sort of awakening that is happening within you. The Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups. This is emotions emerging. And these emotions are emerging from out of a new connection. Okay. For some of you, you're connecting more closely to yourself or perhaps even your inner child, right? You're embracing your inner child. You're embracing this very youthful, playful kind of energy. Hence why you feel more energetic and more enthusiastic. For others of you, I feel like you are attracting a romantic energy or you're going to be getting closer to someone romantically, energetically. For others of you, I feel like you're, you're, you're becoming more and more, you're becoming one with your passions, with your, with your talents, with your skills. There's, I feel like there's a burst of energy or there's a burst of something that you're going to get a taste for something and you're really going to like whatever this is. I feel like you're going to be drunk on this. It's Maybe it's a taste of a new love. Maybe it's a taste of a new job or a new life or a new dream. I don't or a new opportunity or, you know, a new country. But you're going to get a taste of something and I see you being completely intoxicated on whatever this is, whether it's a person, whether it's an idea, whether it's an opportunity or a goal. Um, that's a very interesting kind of energy. You are not going to be able to resist this addictive quality, this addictive energy to this person. You are definitely swimming in a sea of newness, okay? New love, new chapter, new emotions, new energies, new people, new countries, new project, new you. You are definitely swimming in um, a sea of newness, new relationships, new opportunities. There's definitely some very new and exciting feelings. Um, and for some of you, not all of you, but I think it, this is also going to be a good time to connect with repressed emotions, connect with any blocked or repressed emotions or even like blocked creativity 
Okay. I feel like this your heart waves. I feel like I'm seeing that, yeah. You're guided by your feelings. You're definitely creating new emotional connections or I feel like you're in this magical bubble and your heart waves like you're connecting with new people or creating new projects. You're definitely like plunging, taking the plunge or taking the dive towards an energy of love. You know, whether it's romantic love, whether it's loving yourself more, whether it's being more in love with your life. Um, for those of you who have repressed emotions, you'll find that around this time might be a good, uh, like around this particular time of the reading might be a really good idea to start loosening up those emotions. Just let them float to the surface. From out of these emotions will stem healing will stem um you know an, an energy of unblocking and creativity i also feel like there's some sort of creative awakening especially for those of you that are artists writers um you know creatives a de definitely a beautiful new heart connection for a lot of you you might find that this person is in your life right now but you're really going to connect with this person on an emotional level, okay? There could be some sort of message here that is spoken from the heart. You're either receiving or delivering this message. Some sort of poem, maybe. Uh, maybe you're inspired to write poetry about someone in your life or someone you might meet. But I feel like there's some sort of message, like a very emotional, a very deep message, Definitely some sort, I feel like your heart, yeah, some sort of heart connection or maybe you're making a connection. There's, there's something here. There's definitely something happening for you. Something exciting, something wonderful. It's the start of a new beginning. And this especially comes off the heels for a lot of you who have gone through an emotionally difficult period in your life. Um who have gone through, you know, a dark period in their life. You've got the sun um, and it's shining its light on you. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show um, your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.